Right. Okay. Hello. Okay. Mic level is good. Great. Now, testing. Now, testing. Testing sound level. Cover your ears. Everyone, just cover your ears, okay? Give me a second. Hey, Krogan. Hey, KMS. Hey, Burial. Hey, everyone. How you doing? Okay, give me a second. Okay. Alright, how's that? How's that volume? Is that volume good? Is that volume okay? Anyone got any issues? Yes, so good? Good? Alright, okay, 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 good. Oh, okay, okay. Uh... Hey everyone, how you all doing? <laughs> oh, Varial. Oh, you meant with the volume? No, it's only the volume. I'm sorry you have issues, though. How are you guys doing tonight, though? Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you're all well. Um, yeah. How, how's everyone doing tonight? Let me know. <laughs> I'm kind of hyped, too. This feels so... This feels so surreal, doesn't it? Oh. Doing fantastic? Yeah, you are. Because you are fantastic. <laughs> uh, KMS and I have been up for way too long sorting this out, so uh, hopefully it goes off without a without a hitch. Um, I'm doing okay, but I went out and had an actual drink for the first time in 12 months. Now got server sunburn. Oof, unlucky dude, unlucky. May as well just arrest me. Oh, hopefully you had a fun time though. Uh, yeah, there you go. What do you think so far? Is everything cool? What what do you what do you reckon? Are we are we happy so far, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, so cool, super happy. All right, okay, 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 cool, cool, cool. Right, uh, next thing. What's behind that starting screen? Oh my god, I'm too nervous to find out. All right, um, okay, so that's a good level for music. Sweet. Right, now, alright, um, okay, everyone, again, just, um, cover up your ears, if you're using headphones, then I apologize for what may just happen in a second, okay, so, uh, yeah, uh, wish me luck, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, well, what about now? What about now? Is that, is that good enough? Are we, are we happy with that? A little better? Do you reckon we can go one more crank up KMS? Could be a little louder, honestly. Alright. All right. Okay. What about now? What about now, ladies and gentlemen? What about now? Hey, Exo, how you doing, bud? Is is that is that good? Yeah, are we good? All right, sweet, sweet. You had a feeling? Yeah. <laughs> I I wanted you here because I knew you were the big Pokemon fan out out of everyone here. But yeah, dude, what do you think? What what do you think of it? <laughs> what do you think of the setup? 
<laughs> is anyone impressed by the setup right now? I do have you ch turned all the way up and you still seem a little quiet, but it's workable. Uh, anyone else having any issues in terms of volume? Can we can we go higher or would that be a little too much? Uh, this mic's not a headset, so uh, it's a it's like a standing mic, so I have to kind of um, you know be a little close to it, but I can turn it up a wee bit more if needed. So uh, let me know. Uh, the music's not killing anyone, then, is it? Go higher if you need to. Well, okay, all right, we'll go a little louder. All right, what about now? I'll have a listen myself. All right, how do I sound? Come on, DJ. All right, okay, are we good? Lovely, lovely, good? All right, apparently uh, 0, 0 decibels was the magic number. Beautiful DJ sounds, wait, thank you. You sound great to me? All right, cool, 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 thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so, how you guys doing tonight? Ah, <laughs> oh, this feels so weird. Doesn't this feel so weird? Oh my god, don't worry about the internal, internal battery, no one cares about that. Yeah, 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 no one cares. Oh my god, okay, so, um, did anyone, did anyone think this would happen? Like, ever? Uh, did anyone think I would branch out from my console and actually be able to concoct some kind of stream uh, on, a, on a computer, because I didn't think I could. <laughs> DJ, you would talk. I, I was not confident though, man. Like, I put it on my list of things, on my, oh, you won't, you won't, you won't even know what I'm on about because you're not even in Discord, but I put it on my list of games that I would like to stream, but I had no confidence about this day ever coming, so, yeah, yeah. Where's the face cam? It's that big bloody colo in the background, Jake S. <laughs> we'll, we'll take one step at a time, Jake S. But how you doing tonight? Hopefully you're well, Jake S. Hopefully you're well. Yeah, don't worry. Um, a, a face cam can happen and probably will happen, so uh, fear, fear not. But hopefully you're well. How do I sound, Jake S? Is everything okay? I, I I always try and kind of make sure my levels are good for Jagaz. Jagaz gets the old migraines, unfortunately, so I kind of want to make sure I'm not blowing out her eardrums. Everyone else is like, <laughs> you got to manage. But with Jagaz, just want to make sure she's okay. You're so quiet? Am I? All right, I've heard people say I'm perfect. I've heard people say I'm quiet. Um, okay, not to me. I mean, I think I sound pretty loud. I just put it up one step. Yeah, when everyone was drunk, I literally found out some stuff that was pretty interesting and actually cool. Cool, man. Way too quiet? Are you sure? You're loud for me in a good way? How about now, Jagas? I do still have you all the way up and it's fine, but I do have to turn you up more than usual. Oh, really? Uh, you have your volume maxed? All right, okay, give me a second. Let me see if I can do something else. Uh, right, give me a second. Everyone watch out. <sighs> okay, we'll get this working, don't you worry. We'll get this working. I don't actually know how to turn my mic up anymore. Uh, yeah, it's normal for me, but we had this issue when we were testing it, if you remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't actually know how to turn it up more. <laughs> I've got it on uh, pretty much as high as it can pretty much go on the mixer anyway. I'm on earbuds and it's perfect. It's not even at max volume. Could you try without earbuds for a second for me, if that's okay? I want to try and get this perfect. Once we nail this... I feel like we're good for, good to go. Wait a minute, someone turned my system volume down. Oh, <laughs> oh that'll do it then. <laughs> All right, no, I, I, I think we're good, XO. I think we're good. Microphone array and microphone boost. Uh, that would probably help, but 
yeah, I, I think we're all right for now. Let's see how it goes. That's better. Yay! All right, good. We did it. We did it. All right, Um, just one more thing that I need to test. So, again, uh, apologies if this blows out eardrums. I don't know what the volume is like on this, so uh, please be prepared to turn it down uh, in, like, three seconds, okay? So, three, two, one... All right, did that kill anybody? Did that did that sound we can roll with this? That's fine. Okay, no one's dead. Not too loud at all. When you say not too loud, that was good. Okay. You can check after to see yourself. Yeah, 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 but um let's go. All right, fine, let's go. <laughs> Welcome to Pokémon Sapphire, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do this thing. Oh, I want to hear the music myself, actually. Let me get my headphone. Here we go. Let's do some voice acting, shall we? Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch. But everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. Oh, look at it. It's a little Azuril. Very cute. Very cute indeed. Look at it bouncing on its tail like that. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my god, this world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Uh, we humans live alongside Pokemon, at times as friendly playmates, and at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. Oh, I do. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. He also wears a mean pair of shorts. Voice acting is the best. Is it? I try my best. I'm glad you're happy, KMS. Woo! As it, I'll do tell you the things in DMs, DJ. Uh, okay. Um, but who do we play as? Is it the boy? Or, you know what? You know. What? Normally, I would ask you guys for names and such, but I think on this occasion, um. Yeah, I think on this occasion, it's it's my journey, and yeah, I'm going to be a Pokemon master, so I apologize. Uh, but yes, I love it when the Pokemon professor's like, Hey, are you a boy? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, oh, okay, so what's your name, kid? <laughs> my name is... Uh, oh my god, I don't know how to do this. Uh, my name is not A... Okay, I'm very new to this. Please forgive me. <laughs> this is special. Thank you. Thank you. I thought you'd like it. My name is Dan. Why not? Why not? So it's Dan? Well, yes. I wonder if I could cancel out of this and say, no, I'm actually a girl. Ooh, wouldn't that be interesting? Dan the man? Yeah, I am. All right, here we go. Ah, Okay. You're Dan, who's moving to my hometown of Little Root. So you knew I was moving here, but you weren't sure of my gender or my name. Brilliant. I get it now. A girl named Dan, Danielle. My my mother did plan on calling me Danielle if I was going to be a girl, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon, where dreams adventure. And friendships await. Hey, Marty, by the way. Sorry, I completely missed you there. How you doing? Hopefully you're well, Marty. Sorry for missing you. I apologize. Um, well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Holy crap, guys. Holy crap. This is a rush. Finally time for... Hey, Uni. How you doing, bud? How you doing tonight? Hopefully you're well, my good friend. Hopefully you're most well. Uh, no idea, Exo. Oh well, I've got I've got my idea on one Pokemon in particular. Um, points for guessing who it who it is. I think Dan the Man was a guy who played Gears and uploaded really funny YouTube videos of him destroying people playing and them and getting toxic and mad to the point they got banned for toxicity. Yeah, that was me, man. That was me. I used to used to do all the Gears uh, videos on YouTube. Um, but yeah, honestly, Exo, no idea, no idea whatsoever. But look at this! I've been smuggled to a small town in who? Well, Little Roots apparently. Oh my God! How can I get out? Oh my God! 
Okay, so I've only ever played Pokemon Go, and that's my only exposure to Pokemon. I have a bunch of friends who love all, the, all things Pokemon, so I'm really excited to see what this is all about. Well, right now, I feel like we've just been kidnapped by a Pokemon Professor, because I can't get out of here. No, I'm kidding. Uh, oh, did you remember my offer to buy? I've already got it, Krogan. I actually bought it. I've not installed it yet, because it's 100 gigabytes, but I've already got it. So don't worry about that, fella. Um, but yeah... Gonna tell you how I am in Whispers DJ. Uh, Alright, cool. I'll need to pick that up on my tablet, so give me a second. Uh, but yeah, let me know. Let me know. I don't really have access to my Whispers because I'm playing uh, with my friggin' screen open. Uh, uh, I have five Whispers, but it's not showing my Whispers. Oh my god. Technology. Oh yes, you legend? Yeah, dude. I can't install it yet, but I will do, I promise you. It's it's so big, it's like a hundred gigabytes, and I'm like, I can't I can't afford that. <laughs> uh Oh Krogan oh Krogan sent me all the messages. Um Um Oh no. Oh, Jagaz. Well, I hope everything's okay. Big hugs for Jagaz. <laughs> I hope everything's okay. Sorry to hear that. Keep me updated, please. Like, please keep me updated. Let's use the maps. Yeah, yeah. There's bound to be a lot of stuff in there. All right, my best mom voice. Dan, we're 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 here, honey. It must be tiring riding with our things in moving truck. Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. Looks like trash. I want to live in Italy. You drove me here? There's like three houses. God damn it, Mom. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? We're surrounded by trees I can't get past and Pokemon that want to kill me. But yes, it's fine. And you get your own room, Dan. Let's go inside. We go into our house. See, Dan? Isn't it nice in here, too? The Moovers Pokemon do all work of moving us in and then cleaning up after. This is so convenient. Dad, your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad brought, Dad bought you a new clock to mark our move here. A new clock? Oh, happy. Don't forget to set it. There you go. And look at these friggin' uh, Machokes moving us in and all that. Look at them. Working hard. Good, good for you, Machoke. Did you make you ride in the back of the truck? They certainly did. <laughs> DJ, did you see my whisper? I did, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll reply to it when I can, but yeah, it's good to hear that. I'm hearing the saying, a drunk man's words are a sober man's faults. I have, yes. <laughs> they put the kid in the back with the cargo and the adult in the safe seat. Exactly, exactly. I mean, who cares if like a piano falls on your child? I mean, who cares, right? Learned that there were things called Pokemon from my son, then call, then played a mi Minecraft Pokemon mod, that was fun, then Pokemon Go, this will be a nice, this will nicely round out the experience, I hope so, I hope so, my good friend Marty. Uh, back in there, when this was a, this was a game, the GameCube was, uh, the big Nintendo console. It's a Nintendo GameCube, a Game Boy Advance is connected to serve as the controller, because you used to have a little attachment where you could, like, plug your Game Boy Advance in and you could do Pokemon things. Do you remember that, guys? No, just me. <laughs> I used to play the GameCube. Yeah, you did. Woo! Weird thing was, it was not awkward talking about it when they were drunk. Well, that's good, at least. It's not really surprising since they let kids wander the world alone. Yeah, that's true. It's a mad world, isn't it? Played Ocarina of Time and Wind Waker. Oh, I wonder if I could play Ocarina of Time on this. I wonder. Dan booted up his PC. What would you like to do? I'd like to follow Upstart DJ on Twitch if you like this content. No? Okay. Um, item storage, withdrawer, and we have a potion in our PC. Is it a good computer? It's actually the laptop I use for work. <laughs> but it's got a pretty good processor, so I thought to myself, why not? Why not try it? If anyone wants to see more DJ Pokemon, yes, yes. And you know what? After the stream, if this goes well, I will, uh, I will post it straight onto YouTube, actually, so I will do that. The clock is stopped. Better set it and start it. Uh, it doesn't actually matter what time we set the clock, because um, the, the way I'm streaming this, the, we can't really do time stuff accurately, so there's actually no point in setting this. 
Uh, but I guess just for funsies. Uh, you know what? In fact, no. No fun for anyone. Um, we'll say it there. That'll do. <laughs> or more than capable to emulate on... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. I, 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 XO, I use this for work. All right? Um, that's literally it. Oh, a bit of Hearthstone as well. So this is... This is just an experiment of sorts. <laughs> My throat is so sore. You have to whisper everything. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope it gets better soon, man. It's no fun having a sore throat. Dan, how do you like your new room? Good. Everything's put away neatly. I've not even said anything to you yet, Mom. They finished moving everything in downstairs, too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. Yeah, you've said that, love. You've said that. Oh, you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. So you can check your desk, and I think it will tell you stuff about how the... Yeah, how Pokemon works. Adventure rules and whatnot, so... Uh, yeah. Also, I need to remember how to save the game. No fun for anyone! This is not a fun stream, how dare you? Uh... Oh, Dan, Dan! Quick! Come quickly! Why, what's up, Mom? Hey, Drunken Duck, how you doing? Hello, hello to you as well. Hopefully you're well. I hope you run into a shiny... Oh, wouldn't that be dope? Especially if it's shiny Lotad with that kind of, like, red wine kind of colour, you know? That would be gorgeous. Look! It's Petalberg Jim. Maybe that will be on. We brought you this report from in front of Petalberg Jim. Oh, I saw it over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. Oh, yes. One of Dad's friends lives in town. Professor Birch is his name. You may have heard from him in your dream when you... Banged your head on piano at moving truck. Ah, he's the fellow who thought you were a girl, but you told him you were a boy. Do you remember that? He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Let's do it. Gershel! Hey, Gershel, how you doing? Pokemon. Yeah, we did it. We did it. <laughs> Plays Red Red Wine. Red Red Wine. Stay close to me now. I can play that song on this laptop if you wish, but I'm not going to. But yeah, how you doing, Gershel? Uh, or even funnier, the Roltz Wally is designed to catch as a shiny. Oh, could you imagine? I would hate that so much. <laughs> are you guys? Yeah, I'm pretty good, Gershel. Um, I'm very nervous about this stream going wrong, but right now it's all right. Me and my friend are both heavyweights in drinking, so we always have a face off to see who gets drunk first. Uh, first row backs out first, but is, is even I win, sometimes he wins. Well, I mean, whatever whatever keeps you out of trouble, man. Whatever keeps you out of trouble. <laughs> Glad you have fun with that. But yeah, uh, it's good to see you, Gershel. Always nice to see you, Gershel. Hopefully you can stay for a little while, but um, I know you have the odd internet issues, so yeah. Uh, Gershel likes uh, Pokemon Diamond Plat. Yes, yeah, she loved Gen 4. Uh, Gen 4, best. Best one. Oh, hello. Here you are. I'm down. I'm the king of Fallout, and I am vying to become the king of Pokemon as well. Oh, you're down. Our next door neighbor. Hi. We have a daughter about the same age as you. Really? Oh, our daughter was excited about making a new friend. Our daughter is upstairs, I think. Wow, you're just going to let some stranger, well, that you know the name of, into your daughter's bedroom? Yeah, weirdo. All right, let's go. Gen 4 is best. When is the remake coming out? Never, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure it will. E, that's so good, Gershel. Yeah, I'm a happy kiddo because ask the kids. I like how he said, yeah, oh, go for you, Gershel. Well, Gershel, you're a wonderful person. So, um, I mean, why wouldn't he say yes? So good for you, man. Good for you. I love playing Gen 4 with my friends in elementary school. I know, right? It was the, the first instance of Wi-Fi in Pokemon games, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm going to play this young girl's GameCube. Let's delete all of her saves. Yes, you'll never complete Wind Waker. Ha <laughs> ha. No. Pokemon fully restored. Items ready. And huh? Uh oh. Huh? Who? Who are you? Uh, I'm Dan, King of Fallout, and I'm vying to become the King of Pokemon. Oh, you're Dan. So, so you? Oh, oh, KMS. KMS just gifted us tier one sub to Gershul. Enjoy your emotes, Gershul. Enjoy all three of those fabulous Lidicolo images that you see in the bottom left-hand corner of my stream setup. And uh, yes, um, KMS, thank you for activating my, uh, my my alert. I really do appreciate that. You're amazing. 
Okay, look for Jurassic World. I'm hooked on the game at the minute. That's all right. Don't worry about it. You have fun. You have fun. <laughs> but thank you for that KMS. And Gershul, enjoy your emotes. Eee! Wasn't that good? Oh, that was so good. <laughs> but yeah, thanks again, KMS. Mm -mm -mm. Big hugs. Biggest hugs. Oh, you're a Dan. I've already forgotten the voice. So, so you're movers today? Um, I'm May. Glad to meet you. I, I, I have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. I heard about you, Dan, from my dad's, from, well, from my dad, Professor Birch. I was hoping that you would be nice, Dan, and then we could be friends. Oh, Axel! Wait, I didn't change the bits one. Don't do the bits one. <laughs> I'm kidding, though. Thank you for the 100 bits, Axel. I appreciate that. Oh, man. Love you. Love you, man. Oh, gosh. Oh, this is too unreal, man. Holy crap. Hey, Mr. Ray Coma. How you doing, bud? Long time no see, man. Loving that Magikarp emote. If you guys have got Pokemon emotes, then get them spammed. There you go. What have you got? You've got Ludicolo and friggin' Gengar, Darkrai. Nice. Nice one, Krogan. It worked too? Yeah, it did. Woo! Oh, this is silly, isn't it? I've just met you, and this is crazy. Uh, I won't do that. I'm sorry. Oh, no, I forgot. I was supposed to go help Dad catch some wild Pokemon. Dan, I'll catch you later. Wait. Maze left me uh, in, in her bedroom. Alone. I think I have some Pokemon emotes, but um, I don't know which ones they are. Post them. Post them and let everyone uh, tell you. <laughs> I like these best. Yeah, they're pretty good, aren't they? Oh, she friends owned you. I know, right? But I also don't know how old I am. Um, how old are Pokemon trainers supposed to be? Like, 10 or something? I don't know. Might be, might, might, it might be okay to be friend zoned at that age. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't know if they're Pokemon or not. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. Well, feel free to, um, feel free to post them. There you go. There's a, there's a slow poke from Jagez. The stones looking slow poke. Oh, I just want to talk to everyone. If you use a PC, you can store items and Pokemon. The power of science is staggering. And sexy. Uh, what have you got to say for yourself? Professor Birch spends days in his lab studying, and then he'll suddenly go out in the wild to do more research. When does Professor Birch spend time at home? I have no idea, fella. That slowpoke that slow poke looks sneaky. Certainly does. Looks stoned as heck. Oh, always sexy science. Yeah, yeah. And slowpokes are stoners? Absolutely, that's why they're so slow. <laughs> All right, kid, how you doing? I, I can hear someone shouting down the road here. What should I do? What should we do? Someone has to go help. You know what? I'm a big god darn hero. Help, help me. Uh-oh. 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 Is, is, that, is that you, Professor Birch? Hello, you over there. Please, help. In my bag, there's a Pokeball. Oh, in this bag? Okay, cool. Can I have all three of them? So, if you're unfamiliar with how Pokemon works, the start of the game, you get a choice of three Pokemon, and these are known as your starter Pokemon. Uh, in every single generation, it's always been a choice between a grass type, a fire type, and a water type, mainly because there are type advantages between that triangle of Pokemon. Water Pokemon are good against fire types, fire types are good against grass types, and grass types are good against water. But who will be the starter of choice? Will it be A, Trico? Trico is a lizardy tree Pokemon thing that does grass stuff. He's very good and we like him. Will it be Torchic? Torchic is a little fiery chicken fella. He's pretty good too and we like him. But we've also got Mudkip. I like Mudkip. Mudkip's amazing. Ferial, I can confirm that every single last one of those emotes are Pokemon. Congratulations, you did it. All right, um, all right, what are we going for? What do we do? What should we do, man? You Pokemon so good? Yeah, you did, Burial. <laughs> Those are the ones with Twitch Prime? Ah, right, fair enough. I think when I played, I picked Torchic. If anyone's played this game before, let me know who you picked. You choose DJ? All right, you know what? You know what? Torchic is topical because Easter? That is true. That is true. Um... This is your happy place you choose? Okay, okay. You know what? It's my boy, the Kipster. Let's do it. <sighs> and behold, a Pokemon battle between us and a level two Poochiana. Poochiana 
is an asshole, and he's trying to kill my Professor Man. We have four options. Fight, bag, Pokemon, and run. We wish to run, we can, but we can't because we're big goddamn heroes. If we had other Pokemon, we could choose the Pokemon option, but we don't. We only have this cute little fella. We have a bag that contains one potion, and that's about it. But we also have fight, and we can do two things. We can tackle, which will do damage, or growl, which will lower the attack of our Poochiena, meaning that it will do less damage. We're just going to tackle it. Ah, <sighs> yay! My younger cousin always went to our chick and she would name it... Oh my god, in 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 you in you in in you in in you yasha in there's probably some kind of fancy Japanese way to say that, but yeah, I have no idea. It's like when people pronounce Sasuke Sasuke or something like that, you know. There's always some kind of like weird way to do it. A dead DJ to do a Ludicolo only playthrough uh, once getting first low tad. I would. Mr. Raycoma, but the the water stones that you need to evolve Lombra into Ludicolo are pretty much at the end of the game, unless you want to, like, grind it with blue shards, so... It, I think that's true, right? Isn't it? Anyway, we killed the Poochiana, we gained some experience, our Mudkip uh, is very happy. Whew. God, I have so much homework due on Tuesday when I go back to school. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you not get it done over the Easter holidays? Oh, I mean, maybe you got loads more done. How is school treating you, by the way, Gershel? You doing okay in it? Phew, I was in... Oh, oh, KMS with the 100 bits. Thank you for the 100 bits, KMS. So generous. <laughs> I appreciate it. And I'm going out tomorrow, 100% responsible. You know what, Gershel? Enjoy your life. Enjoy your life. School is great. Good to hear. Good to hear, Gershel. Bloody good to hear. Woo! All the hype. I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. Holy crap, 150 bits from your boy, XO, why not? Thank you for the 150 bits, you glorious and lovely Australian man of loveliness. God love you, sir, God love you. Um, okay. You saved me, thanks a lot. Oh, hi, you're Dan. Yes, I came to you in a dream whilst you were knocked out in the back of that truck. This is not the place to chat, so come by my Pokemon uh, Pokemon lab later, okay? And now we're here! Ah, oh, teleportation. So, Dan, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet, but the way you battled earlier, ah, oh, it really turned me on. And also, you pulled it off with a plump. I guess you have your own father's blood in your veins after all. Yes, because I, I stole it because I'm a vampire. Oh yes, as thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. Dan received the Mudkip. Well, that took a turn. Yeah, it did. <laughs> this game's very dark and sexy. While you're at it, why not give a nickname to that Pokemon? I, n I don't like naming Pokemon. Are uh, you going to look so I can get my writing done? Alright, good luck with that, Gershel. Good luck with that. Um, have fun with that. Um, I'll try and entertain you in the background. <laughs> Emma got me six Easter eggs and I got Emma 12. Dang, dude. That's a lot of Easter eggs. Holy crap. Uh, Vampire Dan? You had nothing. <laughs> I had no idea Pokemon was so sexy. Pokemon is so sexy. <laughs> no nickname? <gasps> what would you suggest for a nickname of a Mudkip? If you work at Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make a darn good trainer. My kid May is out on Route 103 studying Pokemon. Why, yes, I deleted all of her GameCube saves because she left me in her bedroom like an idiot. Garbage? Wow, rude. That's why I don't let you guys name my Pokemon. <laughs> it might not be a bad idea for you to go see May. What do you think? Uh, no. Oh, don't be that way. You should go meet my kid. No. Oh, don't be that way. You should go meet my kid. I think I did that joke in the Let's Play as well, didn't I? DJ, that's me with Christmas gifts. I'm really bad at getting women them, so I just get them a ton. At least I know what to get a guy. Yeah, I guess that's true, man. <laughs> well, it's all right. I'm sure you do well enough. Four of my six uh, CP Pokemon in Pokemon Go is Executor. Oh, yeah, just all Executor. I mean, Executor is great. In Pokemon Go is so high in TP. I think I had one before I quit playing. Great! May should be happy to get May to teach you what it means to be a trainer. Alright. Can we go? Do you got anything to say? Professor Birch is studying the habitats and distribution of Pokemon. Pro 
The professor and Joyce may as help too. There, there's a lot of love there. All right, all right, you nerd. Uh, Emma, Emma literally got a whole bed full of gifts before I left for New York around Christmas time. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> You're so nice. Oh my god, the nerdy voice tingles. Yeah, you like the nerdy voice. It will probably change quite a bit, don't you worry. Uh, wow, okay. Um, I'm so nervous about this. Hi, dude, how you doing? Wild Pokemon will jump out at you in the tall grass. If you want to catch a Pokemon, you have to go into the tall grass and search. All right. So again, if you're not into Pokemon, this tall grass here, uh, there is a chance that you might see a Pokemon. And that Pokemon today is Zigzagoon. Zigzagoon is a normal type Pokemon. And it's a, basically an infestation in this game. There's quite a lot of them, unfortunately. We'll smash this Zigzagoon right in the face. Don't be nervous, you got this. I'm trying my best. I feel like I'm doing okay. <laughs> There's also Raiden and Flareon. I, oh, did I have a Raiden? I had plenty of Eevees. I felt like I was going to make some kind of evolution, but I never got to it. She knows what to get me. Anything basketball? Yeah, nice and easy, right? Good old basketball. Uh, can I run in this game? I can't even remember. Anyway, welcome to Old, Old Dale Town. Not really much to do here in Old Dale Town, but if we do want to actually catch some, you know, catch some Pokemon, we are going to need some Pokeballs. Can we actually buy Pokeballs right now? We can't actually buy Pokeballs yet. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Maybe we need to go and find May instead. Let's go find May. Uh, it's going super great. Yay! Oh. The music's so nice. I was so worried about blowing out your eardrums today, guys. I really was. I really was. So I'm just glad you can all still hear. Uh, he said that May was on Route 103, so let's head north. All right. Ah, Poochiana. There you go. Not being able to run is why I don't play the older Pokemon games. Oh, but they're so good, Jagas. They're so good. <laughs> All right, smash that. Oh, okay. Let's not smash that mudkip. Is there any reason you chose to play Sapphire? Because it has Ludicolo in it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Ruby doesn't have access to Ludicolo, and uh, I couldn't get my hands on Emerald, unfortunately. So, yeah. Um, Burial, are you okay? No, no, no. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, I, wa I wanted, uh, I wanted Ludicolo. Is the stream okay? Can you guys still hear me? Okay, good. You're still talking. Good. Um, I was joking. Oh, sorry, sorry, because I was whispering. Okay. Oh, very ill. Normally, I would laugh at that joke, but on my first ever uh, computer stream, I just had a heart attack. <laughs> but very ill, don't worry. Don't worry. It's okay. Don't worry. It's all right, very ill. I'm, I'm okay. No, don't, don't be. It's all right. Don't worry. It's okay. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. God, God, God love you. I don't know, he was locked to Sapphire. Um, yeah, don't worry. Uh, I'll, I'm playing Sapphire here. Uh, Krogan, can you repeat that message? I I, I missed it, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, can you repeat that for me, please? I'd like to read it. Uh, okay, let's kill this Poochiana. Let's kill this Poochiana. Oh, I've been so nervous about this for so long. Like, honestly, I spent... Oh my... I was up to, like, 2 a.m., like, two days ago, sorting this out. And then I was up late again sorting this out the following day. Uh, 3 a.m. apparently. There you go. Anyway, so once we get enough experience from killing Pokemon, don't worry, we don't actually kill them, we level up. And it levels up, it levels up our stats. HP, attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. Oh, oh, oh this is before the special physical split, isn't it? Oh my god. Okay, that's going to be interesting. All right, cute. And Mudkip, learn Mud Slap. Fantastic. Right, okay. If we move up a bit. Now, I don't actually know my pause button. Does anyone know what the pause button might be on, like, a default emulator? Uh, I'm afraid to actually press buttons. Uh, what would it be? Uh, okay. That? No. Okay. Uh, space? Oh, oh, apparently I can speed up things. Spacebar speeds up the game. Okay, that's interesting. That was terrifying. Let's never do that again. Escape? I'm really worried escape would actually close it. <laughs> uh, 
I need to know, really. Uh, I'd like to know, anyway. Uh, I'm just... I'm just kind of, like, pressing all the buttons. Shift. Okay. Uh, C. No. V. It's like when I get a new game. You know, I just don't know what I'm doing. I also don't know which one of you is trolling me. <laughs> uh, okay, you know what? It doesn't matter. We can heal in the battle. I wanted to heal up anyway. But uh, hey, look, it's May. How are we doing? Well, let's read this before I lose it again. Uh, she got me the last thing I needed for my collection, which is a Stephen Curry sign jersey. That was one used in this game, and I had all four out of the five stars. Ooh, nice. And so she got me Curry's jersey. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, so you got the set now? Wow, dude, that's really cool. Right, you, you know, she she gets you some good gifts. Very good, man, very good. All right, you know what? I was worried about dying here, but let's just heal in the battle, shall we? Let's, let's see. The Pokemon found on Route 103 include... Oh, my God! Oh, hi, Dan. Oh, I see my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. I'll, I'll give you a taste of what being a Pokemon trainer is like. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. It's a big, important Pokemon battle, ladies and gentlemen. There's our rival May, and uh, yeah, she's got a Drico. Now, the unfortunate thing about uh, Pokemon in terms of you versus the rival is that whatever Pokemon you pick, they'll pick your weakness. Trico is a grass type, Mudkip is a water type, and grass types do very well against water types. Now, unfortunately for Trico, I don't think it actually knows any grass type moves yet. And we only know a ground type move, Mud Slap, which uh, Trico also resists, because uh, grass types resist uh, ground types, unfortunately. That's sad. So we're just gonna have to tackle it an up at best. We're gonna get pounded by a Trico. Hopefully we don't die, though. Oh, we're, oh, we're hammering it. Please no crit. Please no critical hit. Oh, they, oh, oh, look at it. We're carving it up. Take that, you bugger. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what we kids used to do for fun back in the day. <laughs> Giggity. Yeah, we're pounding it. We're pounding it so hard. We're so good. Yeah, we are. 69 experience, guys. You should have saved your Giggity for that one, Jacob. Uh... Woo! Level 7. There you go. There you go. Now we got it. Uh, I declared Thompson, Kevin Durant, Stephen Curry's German, Green, DeMarcus Cousins. Dang, dude. Those all sound like really important things. Now they're all signed? Nice, man. That's really cool, man. I'm glad you've got so much signed stuff like that. Uh, that stuff's uh, worth keeping. Oh, thank you for the 100 bits, KMS. I appreciate it. It's always, it, it's so cool to get bits, now it actually shows up on my screen like that. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Player defeated me. Wow, that's great. Dan, you're pretty good. Yeah, I just use the same attack all over and, you know, over and over again. Oh, and when you beat someone in Pokemon, they give you a shed ton of money. Oh my god, Exo, thank you for the 90 bits. I appreciate that, my good friend. Ah! I've got a great triangle on my screen now as well. That's amazing. All right, cool. They're the team that makes the Warriors champs. Oh, cool, man. So they're pretty important then. That's cool. Nice. I think I know why my dad has an eye out for you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon, but you kicked my ass. Oh, and also, it likes you. You might be able to befriend any kind of Pokemon easily. Yeah. Well, it's time to head back to the lab. Bye. Okay, there you go. And she's going back to the lab with all of her research. Good for her. Good for her. All right. Um, I guess we should go back as well, right? I don't think Pokeballs actually unlock like now, do they? Um, I, I, God, I can't remember this game. <laughs> Not the more technical points anyway. All right, we need our Pokedex. That's why we can't actually get Pokemon yet. There you go. There you go. Some some king of Pokemon I am. Oh, hello. Dan, over here. Let's hurry home. Okay, May, calm down. Calm your butt down, okay? I know you've got a crush on me, because, you know, I'm the king of Fallout, attempting to become the king of friggin' Pokemon, but, you know, calm your butt down, okay? He's only recent. I always get slack off uh, my team. Uh, they, like, play in New York, and the Golden State Warriors fans. Shame on you. Shame on you. Quite right. Who wouldn't have a crush on you? Ugh. God, everybody. Everybody. 
<laughs> Alright, back at Professor Birch's lab. Oh, hi, Dan. I heard you beat May on your first try. That's excellent. May's been helping with my research for a long time. May has an extensive history as a trainer already. Here, Dan, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. And we receive a Pokedex. Oh, KMS Lauren and me. Gotta avoid it somehow. <laughs> I'm sorry. The Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My kid May goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokemon and records its uh, and records its data in the Pokedex, why May looks for me while I'm out doing field work and shows me. Oh wow, Dan, you got a Pokedex too? That's great. Just like me, I got something for you too. And we get Pokeballs. Woo! Which Pokemon game is DJ playing? Uh, Pokemon Sapphire. We are playing Pokemon Sapphire. Apologies for not uh, actually posting that properly because it does actually say Ruby Sapphire. We are playing Sapphire. Again, I apologize for that, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Dan puts away the Pokeballs in his ball pocket. Nice. It's fun if you can get a lot of Pokemon. Sorry, this keyboard capsule lock is a bit too hard to engage. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I got the message. <laughs> I'm going to look all over the place because I want different Pokemon. If I find any cute Pokemon, I'll catch them with Pokeballs. Not before me. I'm going to get all the cute Pokemon, you bugger. All of them are mine. All the Eevees, all the Jigglypuffs. going to crush you all with my cute Pokemon team. Alright, cool. Oh, oh hey mom. Wait, Dan. Dan, Dan, did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon. You got it from Professor Birch. How nice. You're your father's child, all right? I should bloody hope so. You look good together with Pokemon. Here, honey, if you're going out on an adventure, wear these running shoes. They'll put a zip in your step. And we get ourselves some running shoes. And that was the day that Dan joined Team Rocket. <laughs> I have no idea what you mean, Jacobs. <laughs> Dan, those shoes came with instructions. Press the B button while wearing these running shoes to run extra fast. Slip on these running shoes and a race in the great outdoor and race in the great outdoors. Sorry, I'm going a bit blind, love. It's it's not easy at my age to read. To think that you have your very own Pokemon now. Your father will be overjoyed. But please be careful. If anything happens, you can come home. Go on, go get him, honey. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Alright, sweet. Can I run now? <gasps> Watch running, like, kill my frame rate. Any drop frames? No, we're good. <laughs> 10 out of 10 voice acting. Give me that Oscar already. <laughs> Alright. Uh, how are we all feeling about Pokemon streams? Are we are we are we bored yet? Are we feeling good? Are we making this work? How are we all feeling, guys? Is everything okay right now? Yeah, yeah, okay. I see a lot of bloody love. Um, awesome. I love it so much. It's perfect. Yeah, agreed. KMS. All right, dope, dope, dope. All right, so welcome to the Pokemon Center. The Pokemon Center. Oop, different. Like seeing you tried the PC. Yay! It's great. Yay! Ah. Oh. Different good, Marty, I hope. It's great. Yay. Cheers, Gershaw. Cheers, Gershaw. Alright. So, yes. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Now, at the Pokemon Center, they restore your tired Pokemon to full health. So, our Mudkip got a bit of a battering from all of the Poochianas, the Zigzagoons, and the Trico. So, we come to the Pokemon Center, and it heals up for free. What a lovely service. Thank you. Thank you. We've also got an old man to talk to. What PC and corner there is... For any Pokemon trainer to use. Naturally, that means you're welcome to use it too. Cheers, fella. What about you, long, young lady? The Pokemon Cable Club on the second floor is not, like, working. Because, you know, you're playing on PC instead of an actual Game Boy. And, uh, Pokemon, Pokemon centers are great. You can use their services as much as you'd like. And it's all for free. Free healthcare? Holy crap. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, yes. Absolutely. Right, shall we go catch a Pokemon? I don't think there's anything useful around here. Do they, do they sell Pokeballs now? Is that a thing? When do Pokeballs become available? There we go. 
buying poke poke balls do 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 all right let's buy ten and then we can go catch some things <laughs> uh oh and i get a premier ball too so when you buy 10 pokeballs i believe you get an extra ball for free because that's value i mean who doesn't want to live in a pokemon world when you get free stuff buy some potions as well there you go balls all the balls who doesn't want balls in their life right let's shove things in our balls holy crap i'm so nervous right now oh why am i still nervous about streaming this oh my god everyone loves it already everything's happy oh my lord oh. do you see that do you see that thing on the side of the stream with chat and new subscribers and all that that took so bloody long to figure out like to put that picture behind my gameplay I I I I was very confused. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you for all of that, KMS. I appreciate it. It's working fine, indeed it is, indeed it is. Now, if I remember correctly, I believe I caught a Lotad in my Let's Play from this patch of grass. Yay! All right, cool. Although, do we want a female one? I think we do. We want, yeah, we do, because in my Pokemon Sapphire playthrough, I had a female Pokemon, a fe female Lotad. All right, let's smash it. All right, so if you don't know how Pokemon works in uh, in the games, in order to catch a Pokemon, you first of all need to weaken it. So we're gonna attack Lotad a little bit. It goes down to about red health, which means it's pretty much about to get knocked out. And then all we need to do is go to our bag, chuck out a, uh, uh, could use a premier ball but we'll check out a pokeball and we chuck the pokeball at the lotad and we need it to rumble three times one two three click and we get the lotad easy as that now po catching pokemon later on in the game gets a bit trickier you do need more powerful balls in order to catch certain high level pokemon but for now the regular bog standard pokeballs will help a lot 200 bits oh you're spoiling me <laughs> thank you for the bits kms i appreciate that so much and as we got a pokedex before from professor birch lotad's information goes in there the water weed pokemon lotad lotad is said to have dwelled on land before however this pokemon is thought to have returned to water because the leaf on its head grew large and heavy it now lives by floating atop the water <sighs> Uh, I love it so much. So this is the first evolution of Ludicolo. I think Mardi has a Lotad badge, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go heal it up quickly before we uh, before we move on. We are going to keep Lotad in our party. Um, no, we should probably start training it now, actually. I don't actually know if it's got any good moves. I know it's got, like, Pound or something. Oh, God, we're going to be training two water types, aren't we? You know what? That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Do I? Yes. So that badge next to your name is an upside down Lotad. So, uh, uh, yeah, uh, there you go. You're, you are now educated on Lotad. <laughs> uh, oh my god, I'm so happy right now. It's the starter sub badge. Yes, yes. Not for long. We are going to be getting a new starter sub badge, but uh, for now, uh, yes, it will be. All right, fella, how are you doing? If you have a Pokemon with you, then you're an official Pokemon trainer. You can't say no to my challenge. Ah. All right, tough guy. All right, tough guy. You want to take me down? You think you've got cool shorts, youngster Calvin, with your backwards hat? I'm gonna friggin' murder you. All right. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna send you home crying. I'm gonna steal your shoes. All right. Oh, a Zigzagoon. Is that right? Okay. Is that all right? Is that, that's right? Okay. We're going to mud slap this six again. Oh, yeah. Smash. That did nothing. God damn it. It made him slightly less accurate, though. So it means that a lot of his moves will now miss, which is awesome. Huh. All right. So who could put up with an entire playthrough of this game on stream? Like, hands up. Who could actually put up with me just friggin going nuts about pokemon for an entire playthrough like uh I, I won't take that long to beat the game but um yeah who could actually put up with this nonsense 
<laughs> okay. I know you've been very excited for a long time about it, KMS, but um, feel free to let me know, guys, if you could actually put up with this for a while. I did this on a Sunday because I could only really do a couple of hours anyway, and if it did go wrong, then I could easily back out, but everything seems to have gone okay for now. Oh, and DJ, I may have modded everything in the Mitsubishi Evo 10, and that it's actually almost even more of my favorite than Mustang. Oh, cool. Nice, dude. Nice. Good job, man. Jagaz is unsure. You do reply with some strange emotes, Jagaz. I don't really know what to take about that. As long as you can put up with uh, me being the team statistician, go for it, Marty. Go for it. <laughs> I will, I will uh, try and talk about Pokemon stats as much as I can. Yeah, that's a weird emote, too. <laughs> so we leveled up again. Leveled up to level 8. Oh, I lost. I should have trained man more. Yeah, you should. Now give me a pocket money, you jerk. Yes, we hate everyone in this world, so we're going to beat them all up. Uh, I don't think this is a trainer. I'm going to catch a whole bunch of Pokemon. <laughs> Maybe I should have said biographer. Oh, yeah, go with that instead. Go with that. Take his lunch money? Yeah, we're going to take everyone's lunch money. Who's next? All right, hat boy. Nice hat. Can I have it? Ha <laughs> ha. Our eyes met. I'll take you on with my bug Pokemon. Buzz, 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 buzz. He like this guy likes to dress up as a bee when he gets home. He like gets dressed up in his black and yellow uh, onesie, just runs around shouting, "I'm a bee! I'm a bee!" Buzz. Good old Rick. I like it because it's a lot easier in handling, but the Mustang is more skill. Okay, you you like things with skill, right? Yeah, yeah. Kinky? Yeah. He has a bee kink. He's also a child, I think. <laughs> But yes, he sends out Wormpole. Wormpole is a bug-type Pokemon who also dies to tackle. Whack! There's actually not much strategy to the start of Pokemon game. It's uh, Pokemon games. It tends to be use the normal attack until you get your elemental attack. So uh, smash it a little bit with tackle, which is awesome. Wormpole goes down. 45 poke uh, ex uh, experience. Sorry. Yes, there we go. And also we've got another Wormpole. Fantastic. You'll see that in a lot of Pokemon games, you have a lot of normal types and a lot of really random bug types at the start of the game. So get used to that. And we get another 45 experience. Alright, what have you got to say for yourself, Rick? Ow, down and out. Yep, 64. We'll take that. I started the abbreviated uh, biography of Sandy Hildegard in the general chat channel. I did see that, yeah. Might as well start one for Pokemon. Yay, go for it, man. Go for it. This is like pet battles in WoW? Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Um, to even get a Mustang insured would insure the Evo for the next seven months. Oh, really? Oof, gosh, that's, cost that's pretty costly then, isn't it? Um, oh, I wish I knew what Paul's was. You know what? Against this kid, let's give Lotad a go. Wait, is this even a, a kid? I'm not very tall, so I sink right into tall grass. This grass goes up my nose and... Fwachu! <laughs> Fwachu to you as well, good fella. Uh, hopefully you get out of that friggin' tall grass. Alright, sir, how you doing? Did you just become a trainer? We're both beginners. It me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have a lot of grass allergies, don't you? <laughs> uh, God darn grass allergies. Making my friends all sneezy. Youngster Alan would like to battle. And he sends out a Poochiana. Poochiana. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, all right. You know what? Is what we're going to do. We're going to see if our Lotad survives a hit from this Poochiana. Here we go. All right, so we pull Mudkip out, and we throw Lotad in. Please don't kill my Lotad. All right, that's fine. Okay. Oh, no, we can't. Astonish is a ghost-type move, and Poochiana is a normal-type Pokemon. Uh, normal types are completely immune to ghost type moves, so we're gonna have to switch back. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait. Why did my emulator stop? Okay, cool. My emulator stopped for a second. That was almost problematic. <laughs> but the good thing about doing this switch is that uh, any Pokemon that's in the actual battle itself, if they've had anything to do with the actual battle itself, they will gain experience for it. So even if Mudkip gets the kill, um, uh, Lotad will get experience for it still. Trees are pollinating here. Grass will start up in a month or two. Ugh. Ugh. 
Well, if anyone suffers from all that kind of stuff, then uh, big hugs from me. <laughs> Maybe make a save? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think we do need to make a save very soon. <laughs> uh, Alright. Although I also don't know how to pause. God damn it. Well, I want to pause and then make a save state like after the stream or something. Alright, so we're going to do the same thing here. So we're going to start out with Lotad here. So Lotad will get uh, a little bit of experience from this battle. Uh, although Lotad is very weak to tail out. Uh, so uh, we don't really want to deal with that. So we'll get Mudkip back in. And then Mudkip will trash that tail out. Or tail out or however you want to pronounce it. Stop growling at me, you bird. Alright. God, yeah. So what would be pause on this emulator then? It probably is escape, but again, I'm so friggin' worried about it, like, cancelling out. Is that even a thing? Oh my god, I don't even know. I don't even know. Did Lotad level up? There we go. Lotad got to level 5. Lotad's gonna be a little useless until we can fight something that is actually damaged by its, uh, its ghost attack that it has. Is it something we could Google? Um, I think it's something that won't be an issue for now, because I'm only going to be streaming for about another hour, so, uh, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Backspace. Backspace, do you reckon? Hmm. Okay, give me a second. Uh, I call you that, I, I call you that because I thought I could beat you. Well, you didn't, you got crushed, you nerd. Now in the bag can be registered on select. So backspace is select. Enter. <gasps> we did it. We did it. All right. So we can save here, but I also want to make a um, a save state as well. But I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that after the stream. All right. Cool. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. To uh, any, anyone who said enter before, uh, I appreciate it. Sorry for not believing you. <laughs> but we did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And start. Yeah, so enter is start and backspace is select. So let's all remember that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's all remember that. Alright, so these bushes here are very helpful to us because they give us berries. So we got two Petra berries here, which we are going to pick. And we've got ourselves... We got ourselves a pair of orange berries as well. Berries are hold items. They are items which Pokemon can hold. I think I said it before. Yeah, I think you did as well. Said a lot of things. Yeah, don't worry. We got there in the end. Um, so yes, hold items. So yes, let's have a look. So we've got Petra Berries, a hold item that heals a poison, uh, heals poisoning in battle. If we, if one of my Pokemon, let's say Mudkip, was holding a Petra Berry, and it becomes uh, poisoned during battle, the Petra Berry will activate immediately. Uh, it would consume the berry, but it would activate immediately, curing the poison. Orange berries are similar, but instead of working for poison, they actually give you 10 health when your Pokemon's health is low. Uh, backspace is what? Uh, select. Uh, plus, I may have taken out the Evo to rally around my aunt's farm. Oh, really? Because my husband always tells me to race around that with the Evo. Oh, really? Oh, that's damn. That is a massive farm. Holy crap. Nice. All right, young lady. Prepare to die. I'm going to keep winning and aim to be the best trainer. Help me further my career by losing to me, you scrub. Oh, I'm going to friggin' knock her out let me tell you let's do this let's smash all the pokemon trainers here <sighs> all right last tiana would like to battle knock her out we're gonna knock out a zigzagoon all right okay make her cry that's what we do that's what we do get tackled smash there you go half health nice my friend went with her with the subaru i'm a big supporter of eva so i was showing him that how it's done and why i love eva okay I used to like Evos back in the day when I used to watch Rally. It was always Subaru and Mitsubishi Evos, and I used to support whoever was driving the Mitsubishi. Uh, Alright, let's go with the Lotad. 
So again, uh, Zigzagoon is a normal type, and the only attacking move that we have below Tad is Astonish, which is a ghost type move. Again, ghost type moves will not work on a normal type Pokemon, so there's absolutely no point in Lotad staying out here. We'll just get Mudkip out and give Lotad a little bit of experience. Evo's a cooler in my opinion, Subaru, I don't like their engines. I don't like their engines either. <laughs> nah, I just prefer the white color, color compared to the blue and yellowy gold that Subaru have. Alright, and then we can smash this Zigzagoon for lots of experience on the saying that we are about to die. We may need to use a potion in a second. I'm hoping we can do this. Please. There you go. Whew. Feels good, man. Feels good. I still can't believe I'm streaming a Pokemon game. <laughs> I ended up favoring your career. Wow. There you go. Give me all your money. They use Boxer Engines still. Pretty sure, which is what is used now, Kraus. Oh, okay. That's interesting to know. Nice. Dude, you know a lot about cars. Must be the whole, the whole mechanic thing, right? Uh, oh, thank you for the hook. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So you will see random items around the world. And we've just found ourselves one potion, which is... Something we probably should use, maybe? I don't know how many more battles there are on this route. So let's just have a cheeky gander, shall we? Oh no! No more battles on this route. So we can go to the Pokemon Center and we can heal up. Nice. And welcome to the Pokemon Center. There you go. Let's restore our Pokemon. There you go. There you go. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, we have to see you again. Very good. Right, I desperately need a drink of water right now, so uh, I'm gonna BRB for a second if that's okay. It also gives me the opportunity to do this, so uh, BRB guys. I was still here, but uh, I, I, I just wanted to use my Be Right Back screen. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yes, Gersha, we always make sure that we stay hydrated. You think me having two water-type Pokemon in my team would help me keep hydrated, but uh, no, 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 I have to take little water breaks like that. But yeah, hopefully you guys stay hydrated too. What are we all drinking tonight? Let me know. Welcome back. Thank you, Gershel. Thank you, KMS. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. Um, oh, hey, Gershel. We're playing Oblivion again as well. I don't know if you've seen. So uh, if you're interested in that, then uh, look around for the Oblivion streams. I know you're a big fan of uh, Oblivion and the adoring fan and all that. So, uh, yeah, keep an eye out. Water. Nice, nice. Same. A protein drink. Very nice. Hope it's tasty. Hope it's tasty. Ooh, my boy. Yeah. We've not got him yet, but we will. And boy, will we get him. You mean the annoying fan? <laughs> no, he's so cool. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Gonna eat a piece of cheesecake. Oh, nice. That my stepfather made. I'm going to enjoy every teeny tiny bit. Oh, tell me about it. Take a picture of it. Put it on the Discord, please. And that's how I got the sunburn today. My friend's engine overheated due to the F. But, uh, oh, really? Caused me trying to actually... Get the thing out because it heat is that bad. Oh, really? Ouch. Uh, I got Oblivion at, at Christmas. I have played it I played it once. Oh, dude, you should complete it. It's good. It's a good game. It's a good game. A bloody good game, Gershel. Right. Uh, do we need to talk to anyone in here? There are many types of Pokemon. All types have their strengths and weaknesses against other types. Depending on the types of Pokemon, a battle could be easy or hard. For example, your Mudkip is a water type. How do you know what I have in my Pokeballs? How dare you? It's strong against the fire type, but it's weak against grass type and electric type Pokemon. Yeah, you just wait until it evolves, you scrub. 
I haven't played much games this year so far, mostly Splatoon. I honestly don't have the time because I spend it all on art. Yeah, Gershel, I know the school and stuff, right? And art and all that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know it would. I know it kind of takes a lot of time out of your day. So yeah, don't worry about it. Good that you're playing Splatoon now. Splatoon's good. She peeked at your balls. She peeked at my balls. How dare she? So I had to drive him to my house and get a spare one. Oh, really? So he was lucky? Yeah, sounds lucky. Dang. Uh, Alright, let's have a look around. Let's break into people's houses, shall we? Norman became our town's new gym leader. I think he called his family over from the Johto region. Norman? <laughs> what a stupid name. I battled, I battled Norman once, but phew, he was way too strong. How, how would I put it? I just got the feeling that he lives for Pokemon. <laughs> Norman. <laughs> Glad I'm not related to that guy. Oh, man. Gonna hang one of my paintings soon. I'm excited. Oh, nice. It's my favorite one I have ever done. Oh, wow. Can you tell me about it? What, what's it of? Just gonna paint the frame in frame black? Oh, wish I could see. Hopefully it's am I I'm sure it's amazing. You're an awesome artist, Gershaw. Super awesome artist. My face is reflected in the water. It's a shining grin full of hope. Or it could be a look of somber silence, struggling with fear. What do you see reflected in your face? I see a sexy ass man, that's what I see. Alright, cute. Uh, what else do we have here? Alright, old fella. Traveling is wonderful. When I was young, I roamed the seas and the mountains. Hey, Nave, how you doing, bud? How you doing tonight? Hopefully you're well, my good friend. Hopefully you are wonderfully well. Uh, it's a profile shot of a random guy with a purple background. Ooh, that sounds amazing, Gershel. That sounds so good. Hopefully I get to see. Yeah, feel free to join the Discord, Gershel. Completely up to you. Uh, we do have an art section, and we have a bunch of good artists there. Amazing artists, in fact. Um, okay, cool. And I don't think you've got anything useful to say. I wish I could go on an adventure with some Pokemon. Crawl through some damp grass, climb rocky, rugged mountains, cross the raging seas, wander about in dark caves, and sometimes even get a little homesick. It must be fabulous to travel. God, I wish, you were. I, wish I could. I lost track of time, I was hungry. Don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. What do you think of the setup, Nave? What do you think of the setup, good sir? Big fan? Hopefully you're a big fan. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, behold, a Pokemon gym. Pokemon gyms, there are eight of them in uh, Pokemon games, with the exception of Pokemon Silver and Gold, where there's actually 16 for some godforsaken reason. And this is the first gym that we've come to. If we wish to be the champion of Pokemon, we must defeat all eight gyms from all over this land. And maybe this is the first one. Who is this? Petalburg City Pokemon Gym. Leader Norman. Wait, what? Norman? What a silly name. A man in pursuit of power. Should we go check in? Can we go check in? Let's go check in. Oh, look at that haircut. Oh, yeah, it's cool. Oh, thanks, man. I worked so hard on it. It looks so simple, and it's probably, like, it looks, it probably looks crappy to some, like, you know, pro streamer. But, man, I'm so impressed with myself. <laughs> looks amazing. Thanks, thanks. I just like how I can see chat. Uh, like pop up on screen, you know, and it's all going into Liddy Colo's mouth. All of your words are going into Liddy Colo's mouth, and it's beautiful. One sec, need to check something. Go for it, dude. Go for it. All right. Oh, wait. Uh, Dad, hi. Uh, I'm looking for Norman. Hmm? Well, if it isn't Dan, so you're all finished moving in. You're Nor. This is Norman, by the way. Our dad is called Norman. Oh my God. I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Oh, I see. You're with your Pokemon. Then I guess you're going to become a trainer like me, Dan. No, I'm going to be better than you. That's great news. I'll be looking forward to it. Oh, hello. Who's this? Uh, I'd, li I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Hmm, you're... Oh, right, you're Wally. Right, I've been looking for you everywhere. You're really hard to find. I'm gonna go stay with my relatives in Verdantope Town. Just checking the name of the game. What game, man? What game? Let me know. I wanna know what game it is. I love games! I, I thought it would be lonely by myself, so I, I wanted to take a Pokemon along. But I, I've never caught a Pokemon before. I, I, I don't really know how. Hmm, I see. Dan, you heard that right. Go with Wally and make sure that he safely catches a Pokemon. 
Wally, here, I'll lend you my Pokemon. Oh, he got himself a Zigzagoon. Nice. Oh, wow, a Pokemon. Oh, wait, no, sorry. I did, my voice is confused already. Hmm, I'll give you a Pokeball too. Go for it. There you go, Wally gets a Pokeball as well. Oh, oh, wow. Thank you. Dan, would you really come with me? You know what? Let's go catch a Pokemon with our brand new friend, Wally. Duskers? I've never heard of it. What kind of game is it? If you don't mind talking about it, of course. La da 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 la da da la da da Dad, Pokemon hide in tall grass like this, don't they? Please watch me and see if I can catch one properly. Whoa! So this is supposed to be the tutorial to catching Pokemon, but unfortunately for the game, I've already caught one. We see a wild Routes. Routes is a strange looking Pokemon. Of course, he's now going to use Tackle, because we already know that we need to uh, damage the Pokemon that we wish to catch. Uh, I imagine Zigzagoon's probably going to use Tackle again, maybe? Probably going to use it again, right? Yeah, use it again, because you want to make sure that you get your Pokemon that you want to catch down to pretty low health. Yellow, orange health, whatever that color is, is perfectly fine. Now, Wally, go in... Oh, wait, he's got... Oh, wait, no. Okay. All right. He's going to go catch this Pokemon. Now, throw that ball, bud. Go for it. Here we go. Throw that Pokeball right into that Routes' head. You don't want a potion. Don't throw your potions. That's not how potions work. Go on. Chuck it. Chuck it, fella. Go on. Whack! And we're waiting for free rumbles. Come on, Wally. You can do this. Third rumble. Click. Gotcha. Routes was caught. Routes and that evolution chain is so good. Yeah. I mean, it takes a little while with Routes, but once you start evolving it into Kalia and Gardevoir, oh, so good. A strategy game where you have to guide drones uh, through ships to discover what happens to the world around you. Ooh, that sounds spooky. Nice, I like it. Oh, that sounds good. Uh, what's it on? Like PC, PS4? I did it. It's it, it's it's my Pokemon. Dan, thank you. Let's go back to the gym. So, did it work out? Th thank you. Yeah, yeah, it did. Here's your Pokemon back, sir. Dad, thank you for coming along with me. You two are why I was able to catch my Pokemon. I promise I'll take really good care of it. Oh, my mom's waiting for me, so I have to go. Bye, Dad. And there he goes. Bye, Wally. Now, Dad, if you want to become a strong trainer, here's my advice. Head for Rustboro City beyond this town. There you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go on to other Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders. Collect badges from them. Understand? Of course, I'm a gym leader too. We'll battle one day, Dan. And it'll be a fight to the death. But that's only after you become stronger, Dan. So yes, the strange thing about this uh, Pokemon game is that I believe the Petalburg City Gym is like the third or fourth gym that you're supposed to take on. We're actually supposed to go to Rustborough City uh, Gym first. So uh, yeah, we'll be heading there. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll get there today. Maybe we should do. Uh, let's see. It's in space, which is good. It's on PC. Definitely going to stream it when I get a good PC. Nice, dude. Nice. Can't wait to see that. Can't wait to see that. I'm going to be streaming classic games like this on my uh, on my laptop for the rest of my life, I feel. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. What do we have here? Wally's house. Let's go take a look at Wally's house, shall we? There you go. Hey, is Wally in? Hey, Wally's dad. How you doing? You're. Ah, oh, you must be Dan, right? Thank you for playing with Wally a little while ago. He's been frail and sickly ever since he was a baby. We've sent him to stay with my relatives in Verdenturf Town for a while. The air is a lot cleaner there than it is here. What's that? Where's Wally? <laughs> Where's Wally? <laughs> See, isn't it Where's Waldo in America? But over here, it's Where's Wally. So... If you don't get the joke, just pretend it says Waldo. Get it? Was, was, was Wally? Get it? No. Okay, fine. He's already left our our Wally. I wonder where he could have gotten by now. <laughs> Wally is also a word that we use over here to kind of describe someone who's a bit silly. Oh, you big Wally. Oh, you big dumb Wally. What you doing? What you doing on that wall, you big Wally? You're going to fall off like that, you know? So that's hilarious how these two decide to call their child Wally. 
Wally was really happy when he told us that he caught a Pokemon. It's been ages since I've seen him smile like that. Oh, oh, there you go. Yeah, it's Waldo over there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, cool. So let us continue with our Pokemon adventure. We're on Route 104. Let's go to the beach. Hey, guys, let's do some beach things. Oh, no, I'm not a trainer. But that's right. If trainers lock eyes, it's a challenge to battle. If you don't want to battle, stay out of their sight. Okay, what about this guy? Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Aha! I've, leaving footprints in the sand is so fun. Does anyone else like leaving footprints in the sand? I don't actually remember the last time I went to a beach. God, I really need to go to a beach. Italy has beaches, right? It must do. I hope so. I'm going to go to all the beaches when I go on holiday this year. Anyway, youngster Billy would like to battle. Oh, a sea dot! Fantastic. More grass types. Yes, they do? Okay, good. That's good to know. <laughs> Alright, smash! Let's tackle that sea dot. Sea dot is like a little acorn thing. Sea dot's a strange Pokemon. It evolves into some weird looking Pokemon. I, I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the old sea dot evolution tree. Its final evolution is a bit strange to me. So it's just used Bide. And the way that Bide works is that, well, Unless, well, it, if we didn't critical hit, then you might have seen it actually work. But basically, he bides his time for a couple of turns. He takes the damage that we uh, give to him. And then after like a few turns, he unleashes it. It's also useless, yes. <laughs> Very useless indeed. So Mudkip gets another level. Fantastic. And learns Water Gun. Yay. So Pokemon will learn moves over time. They can only know four moves at any one time. So if you have four moves already and you wish to uh, learn another move, you will have to delete one of the existing moves that you have. It's a very poetic move, but not practical. Yeah, there's a lot of moves like that in this game. There's a lot of moves that seem really cool and seem very useful, but in practice, probably not that useful. I mean, as you saw with that C-Dot, it died instead of actually dealing any damage to me. But now we can use Water Gun, which is awesome. Smash. Get, get wet. Get wet, you bird. There you go. And we'll do that again. Holy crap. Okay, okay. Occasionally you will see the term critical hit used. Critical hit, it's not quite this, but just see it as double damage. Okay? There is a whole complicated formula behind the idea of critical hits and all that. But for now, just see it as double damage. There you go. Oh god. Is that noise annoying anyone? That doo 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 doo. Because get used to that one as well. <laughs> Wow, I got sand in my runners. They're all gritty. Oh, my God. Oof. Best go, I don't know, stop running around in sand then. Yeah, big dum-dum. Not annoying me? Okay, okay, good. In in the Generation 1 games, which was for the original uh, Game Boy, so Pokemon Red and Blue, uh, there were a lot of really annoying noises, whether it be the glitchy noise from when you walked in the overworld whilst you were poisoned, the the ding noise that you just heard in this game was even more annoying in that other game. Oh my god, it was... Yeah, like, it, it was awful. <laughs> Pokemon, have, Pokemon have such weird names. Executor, yep, Mew. They have it. Mewtwo, why not? Chlamydia? Who knows, probably. Oh, Flounder, you're such a classy guy. I know the feel of sound in my trainers all too well. It never leaves. Yeah, you can never quite get rid of it, can you? Every time, I still have PTSD from the poison noise. I know, right? It's, uh, it's friggin' terrifying, isn't it? Uh, I'm gonna very quickly just top up my mudkip here. There you go. Just a little bit of health. Um, now we'll save the orange berries and stuff. But yeah, that poison noise in the Gen 1 games were, uh, were pretty bad, for sure. <laughs> Why, hello, good sir. Would you like to battle? The sea, huh? I wonder what it's like at the bottom of the sea. Ah, who knows? Maybe there's a mermaid down there. And a reggae-loving uh, crab thing. And a yellow fish called Flounder. Uh, Alright, what do we have here? Mr. Briny's Cottage. Who the hell is Mr. Briny? Hello? Anyone here? Can I rob his house? If I was playing a Zelda game, I'd smash all his house up. Uh, this vase looks expensive. Peered inside, but it was empty. 
Oh my god. What else is around here? Anything? No? Anything? Castile's little table? No? Okay. <laughs> the rupees, man. Yeah, I gotta get all those hearts, man. The bombs and such. Alright, love, how you doing? That seaside cottage is where Miss... Oh, sorry. That seaside cottage is where Mr. Briny lives. He was once a mighty sailor who never feared the sea, however stormy. Lovely. Lovely to hear, love. Oh, we've got some more berries as well. Orange berries. There you go. I love that emote, Jagas. Whose emote is that? Love to know. So orange berries, as I told you before, is a hold item, and you can use them to heal your Pokemon for about 10 HP. And some more Petra Berries as well for poison. Delicious. Alright, cool. Shaggy Steve? Oh, never heard of him. What does he stream? Alright, do we have one more fella here? I think we do. Oh, sure, I'll accept your challenge. I have a lot of money. <laughs> oh, he's got so much money. Oh, that makes him great, right? Oh, I don't remember. You don't remember? Is that because you don't watch him often? Or because it's a gift, or I don't know. All right, Rich Boy Winston. Yes, we have rich boys in this game, and uh, yeah, I went to his channel in a raid and got a skip sub. Ah, fair enough, fair enough. That's cool at the very least. Oh my god, that was so fun though today. Just spend all day out rallying around the fields, and that he literally doesn't use apart from him quadding or just typically having fun. Dude, that, that does sound like a lot of fun actually. Just driving around like crazy. Like crazy people. Nice. Water gun. Alright. Nice. Alright. Cool. Mudkip has gained 90 experience and levels up once again. We're going to fly through this game. Take that, Winston. Give me all your money. Why couldn't I win? Wow. Okay, so all of the bug trainers in the first few battles gave us about 64 poker dollars. We just got 1,400 from that nerd. Take that. Yeah, you are. Yeah, I am. I'm the goddamn friggin' king of Pokemon. Alright. Let's go in to Petalburg Woods. Traditional with Pokemon games, there's usually a wooded area full of horrible bug-type Pokemon. And also bug-type Pokemon trainers. Why, hello there. I, I caught a whole bunch of Pokemon. <laughs> go, go, my bug Pokemon team. <laughs> oh, it's the king? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. He said I could do that anytime at all, somewhere because it's uh, to be used and I can get my friends. Oh, that's cool, man. Nice. Yeah, always a friggin' king. Yeah. And they always seem to be mazes. Yeah, exactly. Viridian Forest and Gen 1 was uh, a little confusing at first, but once you get the roots, it's fine. Some of them, though, can be very confusing for sure. All right, Lyle, with your six Pokemon, let's see what you've got. You've got a worm pull. Nice. Lovely bit of worm pull. Let's smash it with water gun. I think we should probably try and get Lotad in on this action, actually. So, Mudkip gets a bit of experience from killing worm pull there. I think this guy actually has six worm pulls. So, let's see how this goes. Is Lotad a grass type at all? Or is it just pure water? I can't actually remember. Hold on. Uh... Yeah, yeah, it's a water and grass type. Okay, okay, I thought so. Uh, you don't know any bug type moves, though, do you? Uh. Okay, you know what? I'm in for the long haul. I'm in for the long haul. We can do this. Okay. I don't think it knows any damaging bug type moves. Grass type Pokemon are weak to uh, bug. Grass types are actually weak to a lot of things, but grass type Pokemon are actually some of my favorites. So, uh, yeah, there you go. I actually really love water and grass type, which again is another reason why Lotad is phenomenal. There you go. There you go. Get chunked down. We're getting there. We're getting there, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. Done. Have I said happy Easter to everyone, by the way? Hopefully everyone's had a really good Easter today. If I haven't, then I apologize. But if you celebrate the old Easter thing, then uh, hopefully you've all had a wonderful Easter. We have learned Absorb. Absorb is a grass-type move, so Lotad will get a lot of use out of that. And uh, the good thing about Absorb is that when we use it, we do damage, but we also get a little bit of life back as well. Now, we can use Absorb here, but it's not really going to do a whole bunch. But if you look, I have 15 health. 
and now I have 16 health. It didn't do a lot of damage, so we don't get much health back, but that's basically how it works. It's good for healing. All right, we'll astonish again. Because we really want to try and get a few levels for Lotad if we can. I don't know what our third Pokemon should be, though. Does anyone have a favorite Pokemon? Especially if it's from Gen 3. Like, does anyone have a favorite Pokemon? What is everyone's favorite Pokemon? I think I know a few of yours, but, um, yeah. Does anyone have a favorite? I want to try and catch everyone's favorite if I can, so feel free to let me know what it is. Alright. One more Tackle, and one more Astonish. Nope. You're gonna have a favorite by the end of this KMS, I promise you. <laughs> My favorite Pokemon is Marwile. Really? Why Marwile? Marwile's a, a very cool-looking Pokemon. I think some would say unusual, but it's a very interesting Pokemon, to say the least. Uh, I don't have a single favorite. No? Well, do you have a few favorites, then? I'm unfamiliar with Generation 3. Really? Oof. Okay. Alright, well... You shall, you shall be educated, my good friend. <laughs> I don't think it's in this game, no. No, Marwile is Generation 4, I believe. You're my favorite Pokemon, DJ. I am literally a Ludicolo, so yes, that makes sense. <laughs> Partial to the evolution, the evolutions and Haunter. Ooh, why Haunter? Do you, do you think that Gengar is not quite as cute as Haunter? And what's your favorite evolution? Do you like all of them? I guess you like all of them, right? It's a cool Pokemon, and it has an ins a cool inspiration. It has cool inspirations of design. The ladies with the mouths on the back of their heads. Thing. Yeah, I've never really looked into the actual design idea of Marwile, but um, yeah, it looks like a very cool Pokemon. Very cool Pokemon. Glaceon, you like Glaceon? Glaceon's pretty cute. I like the little kind of um, ears that, that kind of flop down on Glaceon. The ice Pokemon are very classy, aren't they? Articuno as well. Yeah. Articuno was my favorite. Yeah. Of the three birds. Yeah. It's just a shame that in Generation 1, Articuno is probably the worst of the three. I mean, the Ice Beam was good for the dragons, but... Man, that stat di distribution really frustrated me. Um, but yeah, Articuno was always the prettiest, in my opinion. I mean, you've got friggin' Electro Bird, you've got Fire Chicken, and then you've got gorgeous Articuno. So, yes, I'm with you on that one, guys. Oh, and Ampharos and its pre-evolutions? Pre yeah, Ampharos is pretty dope. We like Ampharos here. Boom! There you go, level 8. Yeah, Ampharos was definitely a thing in Gen 2, wasn't it? Yes, Generation 2. Big yellow Electro Boy Sheep, yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah. It, it's a pretty cool Pokemon for sure. Uh, yeah, this might take a while. There's so many good Gen 2 and 4 Pokemon. I mean, this, this, I feel like a lot of people rip on certain generations. Like, I, I wasn't, like, massively fond of Generation 2, really. Oh we've, oh, we've actually run out of PP. That's interesting. We can only use a certain amount of... Um, we can only use our move a certain amount of times before we're unable to do it again until we uh, heal up at a Pokemon Center. If you see on the right-hand side corner, it says 0 out of 15. It means that we can use Astonish 15 times, but we've unfortunately run out of all of our chances there. Uh, throw and shade at you, DJ. Yeah, I, uh, I, Gen 2 didn't grab me as much as all the others. Um... I mean, Gen 2 is fine, it was good, but it didn't grab me as much as others. Other than Gen 1, I really never remember what gen it was. Yeah, well, don't worry, I, even I forget sometimes. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's just good to have a favorite, in my opinion. Like, I don't know, Pokemon's such a popular thing. Whether you play the games, whether you've seen a cute one that you like, or... Or whether you've seen the cartoon, or like a movie or something, you know, everyone seems to... You know, have some, have a Pokemon that they're kind of attracted to. Whether it's like the cool ones like Charizard, or whether it's the adorable ones like Jigglypuff. You know, everyone's got a favorite, right? Or I feel like everyone should have a favorite. You know, I certainly have. I certainly have quite a few favorites. Everyone seems to think that I'm just a mad Ludicolo fan, and every other Pokemon is garbage. But no, I love my Mudkips. I'm a big fan of Starmie. I think Bulbasaur is fantastic. I love Eevee as well. Like. Ugh. I love all the weird ones. All the weird ones that people hate, I bloody love them. Because I'm a weirdo, guys. I'm a weirdo. And I love the weirdos. Weirdos are awesome. 
Alright. We're almost there. <laughs> Sorry that this battle has taken long. It's taken a long ass time, but we're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. That's what he gets for capturing friggin' six very weak bug type Pokemon. Weirdos are the best? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. In in Gen 5 KMS, there was a Pokemon who it is an ice type and it was supposed to like be like a an icicle like a, a stalactite but it was it it looked like an ice cream and everyone went nuts they were like oh we're making ice cream pokemon now that's friggin dumb and you know what my first reaction was i bloody love it i friggin love it ah <laughs> oh, love that so much I don't know. And then there was garbage Pokemon. There was a literal garbage Pokemon called Trubbish. And Garbodor as well. Gen 5 equals bad. Ah! I, I, I felt like there was a lot of good Pokemon in Gen 5. I, I quite liked Gen 5. I, I, I feel a lot of people say that it was unnecessary. And I can see why, but I, I, I had some fun in Gen 5 for sure. They were whack for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I... Trubbish and Garbodor were interesting ones. Trubbish and Garbodor were basically a sack of garbage. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? I, I think it's fine. Okay. I think it's fine to have certain lame type Pokemon. Because, you know, it, it's fun to have a variety. Not everything in our world is mega cool. Okay. So... You know, it's cool to have uncool Pokemon as well. I feel like it's more realistic. I say realistic. We're talking about a world where there is an ice cream Pokemon. But still, you get me, right? I like Magikarp. Just playing old Magikarp. Magikarp is awesome. I, I mean, I I've lost Pokemon battles to Magikarp. People can do some very special things with Magikarp. Let me tell you. All right. I think we're done. I think we did it. Oh, Lyle. Holy crap. I, I've, I've even forgotten his voice. I, I have all these Pokemon, but I, I, I couldn't win. Yes, it's about quality, love. Quality instead of quantity, fella. Thank you for pretty much destroying my Pokemon. We did it. Yeah, we got there in the end. Uh, right. So, Lotad's not going to be able to get much experience anymore because Absorb doesn't really do much to any Pokemon in this forest. And we've run out of Astonishes, and I don't really want to go back to a Pokemon Center. Not yet, anyway. So, we'll just go for a wander around this lovely, lovely forest. Probably full of happy Pokemon that's going to murder me with friggin' Poison Sting and all that. Hello, Wormpole, level 5. Alright, let's, uh, let's water gun. What's everyone up to tomorrow? What's everyone doing on Monday? It is the end of my Easter break, unfortunately. I am back to work tomorrow, sadly. You gonna go? Have a good night, Gershel. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching the stream. Hopefully we'll see you again soon. But yeah, have a good night. I'll see you next time. Farewell, Gershel. Farewell. But yeah, what are you all up to tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen? Friggin' back to work. As much as I'd love to stream, I can't, because I gotta work. She's in Discord now, DJ. Yeah! Feels good, man. Feels good. Thanks for joining, Gershel. If you're still here. If you're not, then I'm just talking to myself. Yeah. Hmm. Not a one to be found. Who's this? Hello. Have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? I really love that Pokemon. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tomorrow is a typical busy Monday for me. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Oh, God. Bad guys. <laughs> I was going to ambush you, but you had to dawdle in Petalburg Woods forever, didn't you? I got sick of waiting, so here I am. You, Devon Researcher. Wait, that's sorry, wrong question. You, Devon Researcher, hand over those papers. Hi! <laughs> you're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You gotta help me, please! Huh, what do you think you're doing? What, you're gonna pro what, you're gonna protect him? No one who crosses Team Aqua gets any mercy, not even a kid. Come on and battle me. We get, we're getting jumped, guys. In a nice, happy, calm world, like the Pokemon world, we're getting jumped by friggin' Pirate Boy. 
God damn it. Team Aqua Grunt would like to battle. Yarr! Let's have a retail battle, shall we? I'm gonna send out my Pucciana. Yarr! The French pirates. <laughs> Bonjour! Arr! <laughs> Alright, Pucciana goes down to a couple of water guns, so we shouldn't have any issue here. That's a lovely two hit KO. Yep, there you go. It's funny, he's called Team Aqua, and yet he's being beaten by water gun, you know, a water type move, so that's really cool. Wait, we're on land, aren't we? Indeed we are! We're in a forest, and yet these pirates are uh, apparently, uh, well, they're in the forest. I don't know why they're in a forest, they should be in the sea, but that's fine. <laughs> Here we go. You're kidding me. You're tough. It's amazing because despite him trying to jump me, he still gives me money for beating him in a Pokemon battle. There is honor amongst uh, these thieves, unfortunately. Well, fortunately for us. Forest pirates? Yeah, why not? Why not? They're like elves kind of hiding in the trees with bow and arrows, right? Raiding. Yeah, they're raiding. They, they've, they've docked and now they're raiding the land. Sure. You know what? We figured it out. Sure. <laughs> uh, grr, you've got some nerve meddling with Team Aqua. Come on, battle me again. I wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. And hey, we of Team Aqua are also after something in Rustbur. I'll let you go today. There you go. There you go, guys. Whoa, that was close. We almost died. Phew, that, that, was, that was awfully close. Thanks to you, he didn't rob me of these important papers. I know I'll give you a great ball as my thanks. Wait, you have a great ball, but you don't have your own Pokemon? My god, what a moron. Didn't that Team Aqua Fug say they were after something in Westboro too? What are they after? Uh-oh, it's a crisis. I can't be wasting time. Hmm, interesting. So first of all, he asked me whether there is a Pokemon called Shroomish around. And then he got jumped by someone who wanted his papers. And then he was like, oh, the pirates are going to go to Rustboro City and there's a crisis there. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, uh, hello. Yeah, there. Your Pokemon doing okay? If your Pokemon are weak and you want to avoid battle, you should stay out of the tall grass. Yeah, sometimes you can't actually stay out of the tall grass, but that's fine. All right, we'll continue. If you... If you, if you take bug Pokemon to school, you, you get to be instantly popular. True fact, actually. If you've got a bug Pokemon and you're still at school, take it to school with you. All the ladies or all the guys will love you, okay? That's how I became so popular. I went into school one day with my uh, with my Wurmple. Everyone went crazy for it. True story. Every Everyone loves caterpillars, right? No? Okay. All right, James, what's up? Oh, and Ninkata. Fantastic. Okay, Ninkata is a very annoying, stupid Pokemon, but that's fine. We can just tackle it to death. Pro tip, that's a Dan Strat for life, for sure. Alright, let's just tackle it to death. Ninkata's annoying because it uses Harden. Harden will raise its physical defense, which re basically reduces the damage output of my tackle. There you go. Oh, and it uses Leech Life as well, which is a bug-type move, which takes health from us and gives it Back to Ninkada. Oh my god. And that was a critical hit, which mean it, means it did more damage, which means it got more health. Hol holy crap, we may die. Holy crap, we may die. Dan Strat's best strat? Absolutely. Dan Strat's just crushed that Ninkada right there. Boom. Level 12. We're doing it. We're living the dream, ladies and gentlemen. I can't believe I'm streaming a Pokemon game for you guys. <laughs> can't be popular if I lose. Hey, you know what? Even losers get popular, man. I mean, look at me, right? Look at me. I'm streaming a Pokemon game for the first time ever. I, my, my emotes now make sense. This is what this stream's all about. It's about justifying my emotes. <laughs> Whenever someone comes to my stream now and they say, wait, you're playing Fallout 4 and yet your emotes are Lily Colors? How's that make sense? And I'll just point them right to the spot. And they can be like, oh, you play Pokemon too. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It all comes full circle. Indeed it does. The circle of life. Ooh, Shroomish. Should we catch a Shroomish? Maybe we should catch a Shroomish. 
Hmm. Will, it, will it survive a tackle? It'll survive two tackles. Although it's also going to absorb me to death as well. We are weak to absorb, so this could be a problem. But our tackle does more damage than it's absorbed, so we should be okay to take a few hits. But yeah, let's catch a Shroomish. We might not use Shroomish in like our final team, but you know, we'll uh, we'll give it a go. We'll uh, we'll see how it works for us. Ah, it keeps getting critical hits though. You know what? Let's risk it. Let's risk it. Ah, there we go. We're looking for free rumbles. One, two, three. Click. There we go. You have a water ground, a water grass, and a grass poison. Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> Wait, Shroomish is. Uh, I think Shroomish is just grass, right? Oh, is it? Is it poison as well? I can't even remember. Let me check. Let me check. Uh, I can't even remember. Is it? I oh, know it's just grass for now, but it does have effect spore, which is very useful. But yeah, we've got a very strange team right now. I, I can't. I will be catching Pokemon, not necessarily to be used in the team, and I think Shroomish will count as one of those Pokemon because uh, its evolutions are interesting, but they're pretty hard to work with, in my opinion. All right, fella, how you doing? I like filling my mouth with seeds and then spitting them out fast. You can have this so you can try it out. You use, you use it on a Pokemon, it will learn a move for firing seeds rapidly. There you go. TM09. A TM is a technical machine. Once you use it, it will allow you to, uh, it will allow you to teach a move to a Pokemon. Uh, a move like Bullet Seed can be taught to a Grass-type Pokemon, for example. I'm sure there are other types that may be able to learn it, but as a Grass-type move, it is traditionally added to the Grass-type Pokemon. All right, it turns into a Grass Fighting. Yes, Breloom, the final evolution, is a Grass and Fighting type. Very weak to Flying types, unfortunately. All right, cool. What do we have here? Cherry Berries. Cherry Berries. I want to say Cherry Berries are for PP. Uh, I want to check now. I want to flex my, my knowledge. Cherry, PP? No, Paralysis. Sorry. <laughs> Flexing my knowledge and I'm completely wrong. <laughs> what an idiot. There we go. Orange berries as well. Yeah, I like to think that I know quite a bit about Pokemon, but uh, I've not played it for quite a while, so certain things will slip, unfortunately. Uh, what is this building, actually? Let's take a look. This is the Pretty Petal Flower Shop. Lovely. Let's go get ourselves some flowers. Hey, ladies, I'm looking for some flowers. Don't find you, Jack. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad I'm doing okay. <laughs> Hello. This is the Pretty Petal Flower Shop. Spreading flowers throughout the world. Your name is? Dan. That's a nice name. Dan, would you like to learn about berries? Uh, I already know. Cheers, love. Flowers bring so much happiness to people, don't they? Oh, my God. They certainly do. They certainly do. Do flowers bring happiness to you guys? I surely hope so. Hello. The more attention you give to flowers, the more beautifully they'll bloom. You'll like tending fl flowers, I'm sure of it. You can have this. And we get a whale pail. So, if we want to grow more berries, we are going to need a whale pail. While, be while berry plants are growing, water them with the whale pail. Oh, another thing. If you don't pick berries for a while, they'll drop off onto the ground. But they'll sprout again. Isn't that awesome? It's like they have the will to live. Oh my god. I'm trying to be like my big sisters. I'm growing flowers too. Here you go. It's for you. And we get a person berry. She's super into plants. Yeah, yeah. These ladies really love their berries and plants and such. You can plant a berry and grow it big, or you can make a Pokemon hold it. But now they have a machine that mixes up different berries and make candies for Pokemon. I want some candy too. So yeah, she's referring to the Pokeblock uh, machine. Um, we're not going to get to it tonight, but one of my most popular videos on YouTube that still pulls in about 200 views a week is my Pokemon Sapphire, Ruby, and Emerald contest tutorial video, which talks about how you can make um, Pokemon candies out of berries. It is me it's a mega popular video. I don't know why people watch it. It's like six or seven years old now, and I still get comments about it. I saw that last month. 
It re really? Oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. It's so popular, Exo. Holy crap, right? Yeah. It's, isn't it nuts? You read the comments? Yeah, dude. There's so many comments on it. It's so funny. It's so, so funny. I recommend that you guys watch it if you're able. It pops up randomly to people's feeds. I swear. I hope so. I sincerely hope so, because it's keeping my channel somewhat alive. <laughs> Alright, let's keep battling, shall we? We must have been fated to meet. May I ask you for a battle? Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. I love it, though. Like, honestly, since I came back to YouTube, my my Fallout 4 stuff has done really well. I've got, um, like, I, th I think it's more than a thousand views on every single episode one of my Fallout 4 playthroughs, which is amazing. Um, but that Pokemon uh, contest tutorial is still doing well, and I love that. It makes me laugh so much. Lady Sandy. Okay, you look like a very posh lady. What kind of Pokemon do you have? Oh, Zigzagoon. That's amazing. Uh, that's so good. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Wait, am I able to post links? Um, give me a second. Uh, I'm hoping this works from here, actually. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. There we go, fella. There we go. There we go. Alright, cool. Let's continue. Alright, six are good. Get whacked. Is that my uh, Pokemon tutorial? Nice. <laughs> I, I love it, because the start of the video is like, Hello, my name is Upstart DJ. Welcome to my Pokemon contest tutorial. If you'd like to know why <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> oh, I'm glad it got so many views, though. I love it so much. It makes me laugh. I don't think even all the information is correct. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. <laughs> this is probably going on YouTube as well. <laughs> oh, there you go, Lady Cindy. Oh my! I'm so glad that there's a lot of rich people in this game that just give me a ton of money. Oh, hello! Hi! Should I or shouldn't I? Okay, sure. I'll battle. Battle me, love. Battle me. Let's have a right old, intense, hardcore battle. Upstart DJ from 2019 expresses it to DJ 2011. <laughs> oh, man. Honestly, dude, that friggin' video took so long. And about 99% of the information is correct, I think. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I have to kill a Lotad. Oh, no. Okay, fine, fine. Take that, Lotad. Please don't know Absorb. You don't know Absorb, do you? I mean, you probably should know Absorb, but please don't. I'm sure it's all 100% totally correct. I hope so. I was a, I was a bit younger back then, obviously, because, you know, that's how time works. And I had everything written down, and I had everything kind of planned out, but I had to do a lot of research, and when I'm doing a video like that, sometimes, sometimes I kind of, I sometimes I say the wrong thing. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure something might be wrong in there. But the majority of the information is very, very good, which is why people like it, I assume. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, feel free to watch it and give it a like as well if you haven't already because, uh, yeah, I want that video to go friggin' mega viral, man. I want to be the friggin' ninja of Pokemon contest tutorials, okay? So yeah, yeah. Give me, give me, give me those likes, guys. Give me those likes. Uh, this is risky. You should never switch a sh bloody Mudkip into a Shroomish. Don't absorb. Okay, tackle. Good. Good. All right. Cool. Uh, this. Uh... Oh no, Stun Spore. <sighs> Stun Spore will paralyze us. The thing with paralyze is that sometimes uh, we will not be allowed to attack. Hopefully, we can. Uh, Paralyze will also kill our speed, so we will now be a lot slower than uh, many of the Pokemon that we fight. I'm hoping that we don't get paralyzed. Yeah, okay, good, 
good. Paralyze is a very annoying status. The other statuses, uh, statuses in this game are sleep, which basically means that whilst you're asleep, you cannot attack. Uh, burn, which kills your physical attack, so you do uh, less damage, but you also take uh, damage over time. And uh, poison slash toxic, where you will take, again, damage over, the, over time, but in the case of toxic, you will take a lot of damage over time. Whew, all right, cool. Lotad gets to level 9 as well. Fantastic. And last, Haley is defeated. I shouldn't have battled. No, you shouldn't, love. Do you realize who I am? I am the goddamn king of Fallout, and I am here to kick everyone's butt and become the king of Pokemon. Holy crap, it's a doubles battle. All right, let's let's uh, let's make sure everyone's okay. We're going to use the Paralyzed Heal on Mudkip, so he is nice and healthy. All right, and I think everyone is good to go. So this game was really interesting. I assume this is a doubles battle anyway, but this game was really interesting because it added doubles battles. Every battle that you've seen so far has been a singles battle, uh, where it's just 1v1. But in this battle, I think we had to fight two at the same time. Right? Yeah. Okay, let's battle with our Pokemon! Go get him, Gina. We, I don't think we actually had to fight them, but, you know, why not? Twins Gina and Mia would like to battle. Alright, so they send out Lotad and C-Dot. So this is a doubles battle. Certain moves in doubles battles do interact with uh, both the enemies or even our own partner Pokemon. A move like Surf, for instance, would damage everyone on the on the uh, on the battlefield. But for the most part, it's basically the same as a singles Pokemon battle. You choose an attack, but you also have to choose who gets that attack. So we are going to tackle the Acorn-looking fella known as C Dot, and then um, we've got Lotad here who will probably do Astonish on the Sea Dot. Oh, no, we don't have Astonish left. Okay, we'll just do Absorb on the Sea Dot as well. Double Battle was the coolest thing. Yeah, it, they were they were cool. They were very interesting. Um, and it, it was a difference. It, it was like a different kind of feeling from singles battles. Like, a lot of people play Pokemon competitively. They do it on, like, Wi-Fi, or they go to tournaments and whatnot. And, um, you know, like... People are really serious into singles battles, but there's also a lot of double Pokemon battles as well, uh, tournaments as well, so yeah, it's really, really cool for sure. I bet it was singles competitive. Yeah, I, I am as well, but um, I think the official kind of like Nintendo tournaments are actually doubles battles, but I'm not too sure. You can do a lot of tricky things with uh, double battles. You've got to learn like the strats and all that, really, to do well in doubles battles. I think in the later ones, you actually have um, triple battles as well. Need to lie down, so hope you have a great rest of the stream. Okay, Jay, guys, uh, rest well. Hopefully you've enjoyed the stream, and I'll see you next time. I'm about to end the stream anyway, so uh, don't worry. But big hugs for Jay, guys. God love you. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Farewell, Jay, guys. Farewell. Uh, VGC? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm still inspired by the Pokemon Champion who won with Pachirisu. Yeah, I remember that. I certainly remember that. It's nice to see you in chat, Jake. Guys. Yeah, of course. You very rarely chat now. So yeah, thank you for chatting in chat as well. I appreciate that. Have a good night, Jake. Guys. Feel better soon. God love you. Farewell, Jake. Guys. Farewell. Alright, and as we wrap up this Pokemon battle here, we just have one little Lotad. It's a 2v1 situation. I'm going to tackle it and smash it. Good. There you go. Lotad down. Mudkip gets experience. Lotad gets experience and reaches level 10. Phenomenal. Alright, cool. Twins, Gina and Mia, vanquished. Losing upsets me. Oh. Well, get used to it, love. Get used to it. King of, King of Fallout, now King of Pokemon, here to murder everybody. Alright, I think we've got one more battle here. I hope so, anyway. Let's try and get some experience for Lotad, if we're able. Here we go. Okay, I didn't read that out. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got a little too trigger happy there. Please don't have six Pokemon. You have three. Okay, cool. So, Ivan has Magikarp. For those of you that don't know uh, Magikarp, Magikarp is... Uh, it's an interesting Pokemon. Magikarp tends to only have one move available to it, and that is Splash. Splash does literally nothing. It does no damage. It has no, like, buff attack attached to it. It's, it does nothing. 
it does nothing. Magikarp can learn other attacks. It does learn Tackle eventually. I think it has some way of gaining Flail as well. But for the most part, it's nothing but Splash. And Splash is useless. King of Fallout Pokemon Edition, that's what this is. My low tide is about to pull out a 10mm and just blast all the Magikarps in the face. <laughs> it just sits there and looks pretty. Exactly. It just bobs up and down. You ready for this one? Here's the next one. Yep, and it's just going to use Splash. So yeah, uh, Magikarp is able to learn a move called Flail. And the way that Flail works is that it is a more powerful attack the less health that you get, you have on your Pokemon. So you would find a way to lower Magikarp's uh, health down to zero and then use Flail. And Flail would hit for massive damage. But you don't get that kind of strategy in these Pokemon games. It tends to be more of uh, an online kind of competitive strat. I say competitive. Uh, you know, against other people. Focus Sash. Yeah, you'd, you'd give it a Focus Sash so it stays on one health. Uh, but yeah, basically free experience here. The good thing about Magikarp, though, is that at level 20, it evolves into a massive sea dragon kind of thing called Gyarados. So uh, hopefully you'll see a few of those in this Pokemon playthrough. I thought I wasn't too bad, if I may say so, but I guess not. Blah. Blair to you as well, fella. Blair to you as well. <laughs> Alright, got some more berries to pick up. Oh, and an old lady in corner. Got some cherry berries. Take a bit of that. Cheers, loaf. And we've got ourselves some leper berries. They're for sleep, I believe. Oh no, are they? I never remember berries. I really should, again, considering I had a tutorial on berries and such. But yeah, I never remember. If you see berries growing in loamy soil, feel free to take them. But make sure you plant a berry in the same spot. That's common courtesy. Here, I'll share this with you. We got a Chesto berry. No, Chesto berries for sleep, right? The way you look, you must be a trainer, no? Trainers often make Pokemon hold berries. It's up to you whether you to grow berries or use them. There you go. Let me try and remind... Let's just give myself a quick tutorial on... Uh berries okay so cherry is paralysis chesto is sleep uh petra is poison leper is pp all right cool all right cool apologies for that apologies ladies and gentlemen i should know these things but yes we make it to rossboro city this is where that dastardly team aquaman was supposed to go and, uh, yeah, we don't know what he's up to. All we know is that he was chasing someone from the Devon Corporation, whatever that is. And the Devon guy had some papers on him that the Team Aqua people really, really wanted. So, something, uh, something's going down in Rustboro City. And, uh, yeah, maybe it's up to us to save the world, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe it's up to us to save the world. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, um, unfortunately, my time here is up, and uh, I need to end the stream. So, uh, yeah, there you go. We did it, guys. We did it. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We did, uh, we did a few hours of Pokemon. Our first ever laptop PC stream, and it was good. Uh, do I still sound good, or is it too loud now? How do we sound, ladies and gentlemen? Do we sound okay? Oh, thank you for the 300 bits, KMS. Sorry you didn't see it come up on stream. You sound the same? Still good? Okay, let's sound with a bit of music, shall we? There you go. Bit of music in the background. Why not? Does that sound good? Oh, EXO with the 500 bits! Thanks, EXO, I appreciate it. KMS, EXO, thank you for being so generous tonight. I really do appreciate it. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this has been my first ever stream on something which isn't my Xbox. So thank you so much. This stream has meant the most to me because this has been very scary and very new. So thank you for making it so easy for me. I really do appreciate it. No problem, Nave. Glad you enjoyed it, man. Um, so would you guys like to see more of this game? Yay or nay? Let me know. Let me know what you think. Would you like to see more? Uh, if anyone is new to the stream, feel free to join the Discord and you'll find out when I go live and what games I play. But yeah, would you like to see more? Yeah, sure. Did you enjoy it, Marty? 
Did you enjoy it? It's it's a bit of an interesting one. It's a bit different to Elder Scrolls and Witcher, I know, but games like this, they mean a lot to me. I have a YouTube as well, and that's exactly where this uh, episode is going to go, so hopefully some people from YouTube will see that. <laughs> Fancy stream DJ? No problem, Drunk. Hopefully you've had a wonderful night. Uh, that, this is great. How often will you stream this? Uh, probably once a week. If I'm going to do it, it'll probably be once a week, and it'll probably be on Sundays. I don't want to uh, over load this laptop with you know a bit too much so um yeah i think we'll do two hours a week yeah the official law is posted ah thank you for that marty i appreciate that anyway ladies and gentlemen thank you all for watching thank you so much for the uh, the amazing chat a casual sunday stream yeah exactly that's my idea thank you for the amazing chat thank you for all the bits thank you for the uh the gift sub as well i really do appreciate that kms you are awesome, along with the rest of you. You're all so super cool. And I really do appreciate that you guys have enjoyed this. So, um, yeah, thank you all for watching. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Farewell, everybody. Farewell. Oh, and enjoy this, because uh, I don't have to actually go to my blue Xbox screen to actually turn my stream off. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Farewell, everybody. Farewell. <laughs>